I don't know, it's like someone's telling you a bit of a secret sometimes when you read it and it feels like it's kind of for you, which is lovely. What I enjoy most about teaching the workshops is you just meet so many different people and I love getting their stories. We're in the library and we're doing some poetry workshops for Roundhouse Presents Voices Nationwide. They're writing poems about identity, family, community, so they're all really warm and lovely and honest. Poetry helps the workshop participants kind of get stuff out, I guess. Talk about their lives a little bit and let other people in. Um, I think it's really helpful because it's helped me like put things that I can't normally say into um, words. Um, I was a pharmacist for 35 years and I didn't have time to even read a novel, uh, let alone indulge in poetry. Because poetry is for everyone, it is relevant, it's a beautiful art form and we've all got a voice, it's free, you don't need any materials to, you know, to create poetry, well you need like a pencil. I think that spoken word poetry has the power to inspire and to share ideas in a way that is really powerful. My favourite part of the workshop is making you friends. It's just really nice to be able to unleash the creativity that we've all got within us. But it's helped me to think more, to feel more, to look upon things differently. Yeah, been good. I think having poetry here like this, in this context, is really brilliant. I realised for the first time, poetry is a spoken art more than the written art. The lure of Norwich became too strong. A city of literature and nightclubs and bars. Poetry is such a useful tool and it brings people together as you can see tonight. This evening was amazing, really lovely. Everybody did really, really well. Um, they're still in the background reading poems to uh, like random people in the cafe, which is so beautiful. And before you know it, you've got a finished poem.